Hey all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an extreme grocery haul for the month of July. In my grocery haul video for the month of June, I showed you guys how I prepare my meals using the calendar format in Word. And that is what I did here again for the month of July. So before I do any of the grocery shopping, I go ahead and I plan out exactly what I'm having for lunch and dinner. And the reason why I do this is to help save money. If I do weekly grocery shopping, I am more likely to go and buy unnecessary things that I don't need. But when I have it planned out for the entire month, I know that I'm going to eat the food that I bought because I don't want to waste any money. So this is what I do to help save money for the entire month. Now the only things that I am getting weekly is fresh produce. All right, so I use the notes app on my iPhone and I categorize everything, basically from household items to dairy, produce, pantry freezer, and meats and breads. The red triangle represents Data Brothers, the blue diamond represents Sam's Club, and the yellow star represents Walmart. And that is how I know that I need to go to those specific stores for these specific items. All right, now that the list is done, let's go shopping. But first, we need some reinforcements. We need some energy just to get through this weekend because it is a holiday weekend. We need to go to Dunkin' and that is what we did. And I about squished my hash browns. All right, so Walmart is first for the day, and of course I had to go to the pajama section because I noticed that they have new pajamas, and I love their Joy Spud um, brand that they have. Absolutely cute, so I got this coffee one, and I also got this really cute bicycle one because it, it's kind of like fall vibes, which I'm all here for. All right, we are finished with Walmart. Now we are heading across the street to Sam's Club. And yes, conveniently for me, my Sam's Club and Walmart are literally across the street from each other. So we are heading there to get the rest of our food. Oh my gosh, you guys, the moment I saw the poppies are back in stock, I was so happy. 
I've been saving the ones that I bought last month because they have been out of stock for a month so I am definitely getting another box today. Now we're ready to go home. The stores were crazy busy today because it is a holiday weekend. So now we're here lugging in those groceries. All right, so this is a little overview of what we got. We got some quinoa, seasoned croutons, some jasmine rice, also got some more Olive Garden Italian dressing that we love to put on our Mediterranean salads. Absolutely amazing. Some more Rayo's uh, marinara sauce. Then I got unsweetened applesauce and um, no sugar added. Also this Pico Pico taco sauce. You guys, you need to try this. Either get the mild or the hot. Either way, it's delicious. And we got some red enchilada sauce, some French dressing. Um, yeah, so we got a little bit of that. And then we got some French's onions, sunflower kernels, pine nuts, hash browns, chicken nuggets. Got a bunch of breads, orange chicken. Now, this orange chicken from Sam's Club, it's like a hit or miss. You either go there at a good time and they have it in stock, or you go there and it's completely out of stock. It, yeah, they're mostly out of stock. Um, we got some veggies. And then now over to our meats. We got some maple sausages here. Um, we're using that in a meal prep recipe that we found on TikTok. Then we got some um, ground beef. Now, we don't normally use beef, but we're having family come over for 4th of July and we're making burgers with these um, beef smoked sausage. This sausage is delicious. I highly recommend those. And then we got Jenny O turkey sausage and chicken. We got some pepperonis, um, turkey pepperoni actually, for our homemade pizzas that we make. And then I'm meal prepping breakfast sandwiches and so I got some uh, deli ham for that. So that's that stuff over there and then now we also got some goodies like we got Olay moisturizer, some Tynal PM, um, the Olay body wash and we also have some Dove soap that we needed to stock up on. And then over here we have pantry items, um, my wheat thins, I always get the reduced fat, um, M&M's, those are for my grandma, she loves them so we got them for her. Got Fritos for taco salads, these lemon cookies, and then um, we also got these like loft house style frosted cookies and cupcakes for 4th of July because we're having family come over and we're barbecuing and we also got some of these goodies as well. Um, and then the Rice Krispies were also for my grandma, now we have some bread. And that's for uh, barbecue, uh, milk, butter, uh, cottage cheese, Greek yogurt, just the cheeses and stuff that we need for the barbecue. Um, got some whipped cream, uh, cream cheese, and then we got cheese, creamers, all of that good stuff. And then we also have some of our fresh produce. I love Sam's Club grapes. They're the best grapes um, that I can find. And then we have some waters. And then the Fair Life, if you guys have this before, it's amazing. If not, you need to try it. It's so good. And then my poppy, I love this. I love the orange. It tastes like um, orange Fanta. So definitely glad those are back in stock. 
All right, this is the before of what our fridge looks like. Um, I currently have like meal prep that I did not finish eating for the week that needs to come out. And so what I basically do is I organize um, the fridge before I actually start putting things in there because I find that it's easier to do that. And so that is what I'm doing here. I'm taking everything out. Um, just to prepare the fridge for the new food items. So this is our fridge that we have out in our garage. So I'm going to go ahead and place some of the items that I know that we're not going to necessarily need right away. And so we'll go ahead and put that stuff out here. Alrighty, so this is the after of what our fridge looks like and now we're gonna move on to our pantry because we do have some pantry items that need to go in here and this is what it looks like before and this is what it looks like after And we did go ahead and stock up on the fridge outside in the garage. So this is what the fridge looks like. And then we also have the bottom freezer as well. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching my July grocery haul. I hope you guys try out the monthly planning to help you save money. Again, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!